Hey guys, so a couple of weeks back, I got this Bluetooth headset, the P9 Plus Max Bluetooth headset. It's quite similar to the Apple AirPod Pro Max, but um, it's not the same. It's quite, it's very, very similar actually, but it's not the same. Yeah, and for these past few weeks, I've been using this headset and this headset is actually amazing. It's very, very good. So anywhere you are, if, if you have access to this Bluetooth headset, I think I would very much recommend it to you. But aside that, in today's video, I'm just going to walk you guys through how to create this P9 Plus Max Bluetooth headset all in Blender. We are going to move from modeling to texturing to lighting and all of that, all right? And so, without further ado, uh, let's just jump right into the video. All right, so let's get started by creating a new file. So as usual, file, new, and then you're going to go with general. I'm going to click on don't save. And as usual, you are presented with the default cube, the light, and then the camera, okay? So you are going to delete the default cube, X to delete, and then you are going to delete the light and camera as well. So shift to select both of them. <clears throat> now, after that, you are going to move to the top view. That's the plan. Then you are going to add a plane. So shift A to add a plane. Select plane. And then after adding the plane, we are going to scale the plane on the X axis. So it's S, X, and then we are going to scale it just a little bit, not too much, just about here. What you are going to do next is we are going to tap to go into the edit mode. Add a loop cut with Ctrl R like this. And then we are going to add a couple of loop cuts over here to uh Control R, and then I'm going to add a couple of loop cuts, like say, okay, I think that's enough for me. And next thing is you are going to click on the face select mode that's right um, up here, or you can use three um, on your function keys below your function keys. You can press three to select or to toggle the face select mode. Select the face on the left, then press X on the keyboard, and then choose faces to delete. After that, you are going to scale the plane on the Y axis, just about here, something like this. It's okay. And then we are going to add a mirror modifier. So go to the modifier properties, add modifier, and then we are going to choose mirror modifier. And after we have chosen the mirror modifier, we are going to do something else. We are going to give it, we are going to give the plane a simple deform modifier. But before that, we need to add an empty, and then we are going to use that empty to set as the origin for the plane to be you know bent all right so shift a and then let's choose <clears throat> let's choose empty all right so now we, we have to tap to go back into the object mode shift a and then we are going to select empty all right so you can choose any of the empties i'll take the plane axis and then <clears throat> after that select the plane again and then click on add modifier and select the simple deform modifier so you would see that something would be going on just about uh, right about it but you see something going on but uh we don't want that we don't want it to twist we want it to bend all right like so and if you click on bend and then you change it to x or y sometimes it may not bend as it's supposed to so what you're going to do is that where you have the parameter for the origin we are going to select and then choose the empty all right so you can see that there is something going on but then this is not how we want the plane to bend we want the plane to bend uh let's say like so in this way in this in this order all right so what we are going to do is that we are going to select the plane uh, sorry the empty and then we are going to move to the left uh, side or the left view and then we are going to rotate it on the x axis 90 degrees like so yeah and then you should see something happening right about that so we are going to increase the angle just so we have something like this going on and i think my plane is a bit too long for my liking so i'm going to delete a couple of faces so i'm going to delete this face and then i'm going to select everything and then i'm going to scale them in on the y axis like so all right, so this is how I want it to be. And after that, you are going to add a subdivision modifier. 
same process add a subdivision modifier and then we are going to increase i think i should increase the let's make it 190 and so and so this is what we have all right and uh i think i still need to delete one face okay so this is just what i want i think this is okay this is okay for me and i'm going to scale it in again like so all right and so after adding now that we have added the subdivision modifier you can you can increase the subdivision modifier to actually to any amount that you want but then i'll keep it at two just so i can keep my poly count low for now the next thing we are going to do is that we are going to tap to go into the edit mode uh, sorry we are going to um shift d to duplicate the plane so shift d and then right click because we don't want to move it all right and then you can go into the scene scene collection um window around here and then we are going to rename it so i'm going to rename this one as frame and, and that's the duplicate and then we are going to name the plane itself as head body just uh, i just want to give it a name that we can identify so select the frame tab to go into the edit mode what you're going to do is that you're going to toggle the edit uh, sorry the edge select mode and then you are going to select these edges just about these edges just these edges then we are going to press ctrl i on the keyboard to invert the selection and we are going to delete these edges so x and then select delete edges and then we have something like this going on and the next thing we are going to do is that we are, we are going to give the frame that we duplicated a, a skin modifier so add another modifier and then we are going to choose the skin modifier all right so i think if you select the skin modifier you see something going on it might scare you but don't be scared all right so what you are going to do at this point is that we are going to first of all we, we need to apply the scale of the frame so control a to apply the scale and then as you can see something is already happening and after that tab to go into the edit mode and then control a but before that pr uh, press a to select all of the edges or vertices and then come to the skin modifier property and then with everything selected click on mark root all right and then after that come into the edit mode window and then control a to scale everything down like this all right just right about here okay uh, this is just about here is okay for me and after that we are going to duplicate the subdivision modifier and we are going to bring it after the skin modifier and as you can see we have something happening already all right so let's tab to go back into the edit mode again of the frame and then this time the edge over here we want to um, subdivide it so we want to select the edge to so select the edge let's click select subdivide and then toggle the vertex select mode extrude it like so on the x-axis just so we have something going on and as you can see and so i'm going to toggle the edge select mode and subdivide this edge to just so that it can follow the simple deform modifier all right and then after that as you can see that affected our simple deform modifier so it means that we have to go back into the properties and then we have to change or tweak the angle and then i can see that we have some mesh some mesh issues over here so we'll solve that so let's go back into the simple deform and then let's let me going to this the front view let me take this here and then i'm going to increase it's like so odd z to to look or to see through your objects and uh, let me see select this front view all right
so i think right about here is okay for me and then with the mesh issues we are having i think it has something to do with the order of our of, of, of our modifier so okay so do i bring the skin modifier Yeah, so like i said the issue had to do with the order of the modifier so i think if the modifier comes if the simple default comes after the skin modifier then it works there is no problem so this is what we have right now so i'm going to take this and then i'm going to tweak the simple default modifier again i want this to stay within the I want this to stay within the frame so i'm going to move this up like so like this and then i'm going to play around with the simple deform modifier like this move it up and uh something like this okay so apparently if i bring the simple deform after the subdivision it works a lot better so still working let's just bring this down and let's play around with the simple deform like this all right so you see them um, basically i think yeah you have to be careful with the order in which you place your modifiers because that has a lot to do with the way your object or your mesh reacts all right so in case you encounter any issues uh, through the process just make sure you check your order of the modifiers just try to move some things around and see if it works all right most probably the issue is with the order all right so now that we have taken care of that the next thing we are, going, we are supposed to do before we move to the next thing let me do something very quick i want to bring this down like this all right and so before we move on very quickly we are going to we need to add the foam that is uh, around here i hope you know that foam that is around here right so we are going to click on this and then shift d to duplicate it and then right click so we don't move it and then in the outliner we are going to double click and then we are going to rename this as head foam all right head foam tab to go into the edit mode and uh just make sure that edit mode is visible for the modifiers and then three to toggle the face select mode on you can press on the forward slash key on your numpad part just so you can separate the mesh and work on it separately all right so i'm going to separate it like so i'm going to select all the faces like these faces and i'm going to extrude all of them so alt e to extrude faces along normals alt e, um, alt e then you select extrude faces along normals and then we are going to extrude it like so not too much just right about here all right and this is what we want okay and then what i'm going to do next is that we are going to tap to go into the edit mode all right then still separate everything and we are going to select some specific faces and then those faces we don't want them to have a subdivision modifier or edges so here here i would select here this edge and this edge and then n on the keyboard to bring in the uh, this window and then increase the main crease all right and then you have something like this now you can go back and turn on the subdivision and as you can see this side looks sharper and if you are to turn off this um separation you can see that now we can see the foam visibly all right so this is what we want in case your mesh is going through the what do you call it the head body you can add a, a solidifier modifier to it so i'm going to give it a solidifier modifier and front view i need it let me apply the scale 
I need it to go out like so. All right, so this is what I want. All right, so this is what we want. Okay. All right. So now that we are done with this, the next thing we are supposed to do is to add the ear. What do you call it? Is it the earbuds or whatever the name is? All right. So this is going to be the end of the part one of the video. Uh, I'm going to upload the part two in a couple of days. So if this video was helpful to you, I really appreciate it. if you like the video, subscribe to the channel and turn on the bell notification icon as well. All right. And make sure to share the video with others. And so um, you can leave in the comments anything that you were able to learn from this video. Uh, you can share with us in the comments anything. Or maybe if there was something I did in, in the video that maybe there is an easier way to do it. You can share with us in the comments as well. So uh, this is just the part one. The part two will be out in a couple of days. So um, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the part two of this series. Have a nice day.